I'd now like to continue by calling up the current athletic director from Langara College, Mr. Jake McCollum. Thanks, Mr. Athletic Director of the Year. Uh, it's great to be here tonight and um, hear some of the, uh, I guess, old warriors uh, speak. It's, uh, it's, it's truly been an experience so far. And um, it's my honor tonight to, to introduce uh, Gerald Jerry Lloyd. Um, it's great to see his wife, Chris, uh, his daughters, Catherine and Shannon, and son-in-law, Jordan, here tonight. So it's um, my pleasure. Uh, and my honor to introduce Jerry. Um, Jerry Lloyd devoted much of his early career to student athletics. Uh, a talented former basketball student athlete, he completed his bachelor degree and graduate work in the U.S., graduating from the Advanced Management Program at the Harvard Business School. He began his career as a high school teacher before moving on to BCIT, the British Columbia Inf Institute of Technology in BC, uh, obviously, to serve as the athletic director. There he coached the men's basketball team, developing lifelong friendships uh, with his players. Jerry was a strong supporter of BC College Athletics, says former colleague Mel Stelk. As the athletic director at BCIT, he was acutely aware of the challenges that athletics faced and was always supportive of ideas that could improve things. He was founder and president of BC's Totem Athletic Conference, now known as the Pac West, as well as founder and president of the Four West Athletic Conference, a predecessor of the CCAA that included BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. He also served as president of the local high school athletic association, president of the BC Intercollegiate Hockey League, and director of the BC Boys Basketball Association. He participated in the CCAA's early 1972 meetings as a BC representative and later served three terms as a vice president on the first CCAA executive board, 74 to 77. During that time, he contributed to the Constitution and did research on the regionalization of the CCAA individual participating conferences. He was a valuable resource to anyone involved in the political architecture of college sport, says Stelk. He was a politically savvy and could always be counted on to analyze the potential strengths and weaknesses of every situation. He would eventually become BCIT's Dean of Students, then Principal of the Aviation Campus. After leaving BCIT, he dedicated the rest of his career to aviation. Serving as a President and CEO of the BC Avi Aviation Council, Execu Executive Director of the Aerospace Industry Association of BC, and chairman of the advisory committee to the board of NAV, NAV Canada, Jerry received the William Van Horn Visionary Award in 2005 for outstanding leadership and development in air tourism. Jerry is being inducted into the CCAA Hall of Fame posthumously. Uh, I'd like to ask Jordan to receive the award this evening. As I said, uh, Jerry did pass away uh, last July, um, uh, but I'm sure he would be overwhelmed and overjoyed to uh, to see how far the CCAA has come, just from from the humble beginnings that it had. And uh, I know he appreciated all the all his colleagues and all the friends that he had, and from uh, from those times and. Uh, uh, as he was as he was starting to uh, get a bit older, and I was getting a bit older, he told me about a couple of rough nights that you guys had out there. So, uh, you know, <laughs> don't worry, no stories. We'll uh, we'll go to your wives, I promise. <laughs> but um, as I said, uh, he would. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure it would be mind blowing to 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 know that the CCAA would become what it has become just from what it used to be and the pack west how it just used to be the the totem division and uh so just on behalf of of jerry and on behalf of my family i just want to say thank you very much and uh we're really honored that uh, he's been inducted into the hall of fame so thank you
now I'd like to call upon Mel Stelk, who's already called upon himself, to come up and say a few words. Thanks, Jake. The family asked me if I'd say a few words on Jerry's behalf, and I'm glad to. How many people in this room actually had the good fortune of meeting Jerry Lloyd? And yeah, so a few of us. I knew the old timers, but uh, I'll tell you a little bit about him. If you asked the family, of course, they, they would tell you that Jerry was a good husband, uh, great dad, great grandfather. Um, in the athletic circles, uh, uh, he was real special to us with the Totem Conference when we got going. Same thing with the Four West, and then carried on to CCAA. Really interesting because Jerry was a real character. He had a wonderful sense of humor. And if you considered the meetings that we used to go to, you can imagine what it would be like to have guys like Hoff and Costello and, and uh, Jerry and some of these guys. I tell you, going to meetings was fantastic. We had really great times. And we could tell some fantastic stories, but we'll save them for the, the uh, celebrations after. Um, you know, it was really interesting because when I think back, the kind of contributions that Jerry made and the kinds of things he stood for, he was a really fun-loving guy. He had a great sense of humor, and uh, he also had a serious side. And it was really interesting because most of us coming into the athletic scene had been involved in coaching and uh, had been involved in sport for a while. We were athletic directors, and we hadn't had a whole lot to do with uh, politics. In fact, uh, most of us weren't much good at it. But guys like Jerry and, you know, guys like uh, Hoff, uh, guys like John Cruikshank, the Ontario whole group seemed to be much more aware than the rest of us were about dealing with some of the politicians. And Jerry was fantastic at that. He liked to have a leadership role and get people involved. And he really cared about making sure that the student athletes that we had in the province were well cared for and had good opportunities. And it was really fun to work with. Interestingly enough, um, not only was he politically astute, but Jerry, when he decided that he felt strongly about something, he was the most passionate guy about those things you ever saw. And the two things that I recall he was most passionate about were intercollegiate athletics, especially basketball, and the aviation industry. And he was well respected in both. In the aviation industry, he's received awards, and I know he would have been honored and humbled and most proud of receiving this award tonight. So on his behalf, and I know he'd want to thank you very much. He'd want to say to the fellow inductees, congratulations, and uh, thanks very much for acknowledging. <laughs>